Okay, um, all praise and glory go to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakadash. The bonus of the elders of GMS and salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. All right, it's gonna be a quick lesson, man, on this article. Okay, because uh, a lot of things about to take place in America, but anyways, the name of this lesson is called "Great Humbling Is Coming." Man, check out this article right here. All right, it says nearly seven hundred thousand will, will lose food stamps with USDA work requirements change. All right, now. That's a lot of damn people, all right? But look, that's probably just counting the people that's on the case, all right? Because when you when you on a case, right, if you've ever been on food stamps, you always got one person that's, you know, basically they're the, uh, let's just say the uh, the head person on, on the case, like like the parent, all right, the, the mother, okay? But she might have maybe, you know, a sibling or, or four, but... Most people that's on food stamps, they usually have a, a bunch of uh, children. I said siblings. They usually have a, a bunch of kids, you know. Some don't. They might have one or two, you know. But just imagine, you know, I, I don't think this is counting, you know, the people that's actually getting fed off the food stamps, but just the people, but but the person that's on the head of, of, of the case, which is the parent, right? So let's uh all right seven hundred thousand all right let's just say um uh, the the parent has four four children out of each seven hundred thousand cases cases right each parent has let's just say four kids right hey, I actually know a woman with like nine kids you know that's all right let's put in seven hundred thousand right. Hold on, take that back. It's too much. Okay, times four. All right, that's two point eight million. All right, but really, it's gonna be more than that, man. Okay, cause Jake have a lot of fucking kids, man. Jake got uh, four, or five kids, you know, uh, six kids, and they all eating off those food stamps, man. Now let's go go and read some some of this article, man. It says the Trump administration Wednesday formalized work requirements for receipts. Hold on. Work requirements for receipt of food stamps, a move that will cause hundreds of thousands of people to, to lose access. No, man. Millions, man. Millions. You know. Because no, I know I'm telling you, Esau never gives you the, the real number, man. All right. He never gives you the real number. If it's hey, round that off to the uh, nearest. uh. Uh, 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 a uh, hundred. You know, that that would be what a uh, a uh, uh, one one million people basically seven hundred thousand. That's really a million people, man. You know, because Esau he never give you the fucking numbers and and multiply what one 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 million times times four, man. Now that was just numbers I'm throwing out there, you know, or or close numbers that's probably very accurate. So you 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 probably have four hundred million people all right without food stamps that's not eating man you know let's read some of this article man <laughs> the trump administration wednesday formalized work requirements for receipts of food stamps a move that will cause hundreds of thousands of people to lose access to supplemental nutrition acceptance program for snap agricultural secretary sonny purdue and brandon lips the deputy of the undersecretary for usda's Food, nutrition, and consumer service spent about 18 minutes on a call, call with reporters outlining the change to the rule that will take effect. We're taking action to reform our SNAP program in order to restore the dignity of the work and sizable segment of our population and be respectful of taxpayers who fund the program. Purdue said Americans are generous people who believe it is their responsibility to help fellow citizens when they encounter difficult stretch, a difficult stretch. That's the commitment behind SNAP. But like other welfare programs, it was never intended to be the way of life. Because why? You have people live off that shit, man. You know? Well, let me get one scripture. I ain't put out no scripture yet. All right? Uh, Isaiah 2 and 12 says the lofty looks, uh, 
I'm going to go to yeah, 2 and 12. It says, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. And you know what? You people that get them food stamps, especially you women, you're proud as hell, man, and lofty. All right? You lift it up, man. Because Esau, Esau allows some of you to work. You get these little part-time jobs, and then he give you food, you know? And then you look down on the Israelite, man. It says, and upon everyone that is lifted up, he shall he shall be brought low. You see? So like I said, a great humbling is coming, man. You know? It says, let's go back to the article. It says, the USDA rule changes affects people between the ages 18 and 49 who are childless and disabled. And under the current rules, the group is required to work at least 20 hours a week for more than three months over a 36 month period to qualify for food stamps. So they making you actually work for the food stamps, man. And you, and you know, it's not the, the jobs is basically, uh, deplenishing now, man. All right. Cause, uh, America is what outsourcing everything, man. So you, you, you didn't have this, this, this mass shutting down of different stores, right? This JC Penney's, uh, what's the other store I've been seeing? Oh, it's a restaurant called Steak and Shake all around here in fucking Indianapolis, right? That Them motherfuckers is basically shut down, man. You know? And it says and what they got on the on the damn building, $10,000 to open up a business. Because why the people can't, they can't keep them going, man. They're not making enough money. All right? It tell you, hold on. <laughs> Let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th, 12th chapter. Real quick. Ecclesiastes 12. It says, uh, try to get right to the point. Here we go right here. Matter of fact, I got to read from the top. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember thou creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. And guess what? The evil days, hey, they, they here, man. All right. The Lord just got things at a appointed time to, to to break out, man. All right. And them cutting off them food stamps, hey, that, that's a part of the, of the, of the e evil times, man. Because what you going to think, man, when, when people uh, lose those food stamps, you got 400 million people not eating. They going to go to the ones, uh, to the people that's, that's, that, 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 uh, that, uh, that uh, are eating, man. All right. It says, nor draw nigh when when thou, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When the sun or the light of the moon or the stars shall be darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. It says, in that day, when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall, buy them, shall bow themselves, the grinders shall seize because they are few. And those that look out the, wind, out the windows shall be darkened. You see? Because why? It's going to be all hell out there, man. All right? You ain't going to have no answers, man. All right, basically what? You ain't going to see no, 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 no future, man. Read that over again. Those that look out the windows shall be darkened, man. All right. It, hey, it's scripture say the day of the Lord shall be gross darkness. All right. Ain't just talking about the missiles, man. It's talking about how you people, you ain't going to have no answers. Basically, it's going to be like that movie, uh, the fucking road, man. Hey, when you watch that movie, hey, the 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 dude's wife, she just she just said to fuck, fuck with it, man, and basically committed suicide. Say, oh man, I'm just gonna go out here and die, cause people was taking people, uh, uh eating them. All right, it's it's called uh it's called uh cannibalism, you know. It says, and the door shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low, and he salakia. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right. Let's go back to this article. It says, uh, Salakia. It says the new rule. Would limit states from waiving those standards instead of restricting their use for those areas that have a 6% unemployment rate. Or higher. See, like I was saying, ain't no goddamn employment, man. There's different ways you can make money, and it is some jobs out there, man. But in the many hell, wherever anybody work, hey, all that shit gonna be shut down, man. The national unemployment rate is, in October was 3.6%. During the call Wednesday, the USDA said that about 688,000 people would lose access to food stamps. 
That's now from his early estimate from 750. See, like I said, Esau never put out the real numbers, man. So let's just say a, th a million people going to lose food stamps, man. That's on the case. Not the people that's 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 uh that's actually on, on that one person's case. Those three to four kids or the one nigga that's sitting in the house eating cereal. He ain't on the case. All right. But he's just in there eating up all the food. OK. People will be affected. The USDA said that this was an extension of Donald Trump's April 2018 executive order called reducing profit. <laughs> Actually, he's he's putting people in poverty because first ain't no fucking jobs. All right. There ain't going to be no food. You gonna be able to feed yourself, man. So what's that's going to bring famine? All right. It's going to bring uh, 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 riots, man. In America, by by promoting opportunity to economic mobility that aim to create more work programs and limit public assistance. Yeah, man. See. Hey, for a minute, Trump was just talking about just giving you motherfuckers bread baskets, man. You know? Let's go to Second Ezra's 15, man. Which is one of my favorite chapters. So like you. Uh, okay, I just scroll. Second Ezra 15 chapter. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get right to the point. All right. Matter of fact, I'll start from 14. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that that and them that dwell therein, but the sore and destruction draw of nigh. One people shall stand and fight. Shall shall like it. One people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands, and there shall be sedition among man, and invading one another. And they should not regard their kings nor because why, man? Oh, I forgot this. I think his name is Gerald Salente. He be on Rush today, man. He said, man, when people lose it, hey, man, they 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 lose it. <laughs> so hey, when you lose those food stamps, you lose your job, you can't provide what they gonna. What do you think? What do you think what's gonna happen, man? Uh, back to 15, the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. One people shall stand up or fight against another and swords in their hands. You see? And there should be sedition among men and evading one another and they should not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. For because of pride in the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. You see that great humbling is coming, man. And a man shall have no shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. You see lack of food, man. Lack of food and what? And, and for great tribulation, man. So that's what's coming. Lack of food and what? Great tribulation. So with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai Bashin Rukakadash. Double honest to the elders of GMS and salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth. Shalom.